part 3 of the uh, No Saving Quit Runner's Guide to Debug Mode. Last time we got through Goma Cave and we did some manipulation on bandits. Uh, so that we ensured we got one plus one defense. That plus one defense is going to come in handy. Alright, we just need to build a bit. We're going to go shopping. So, run straight up and into here. Head over to our trusty armor salesman. Like I mentioned, the defense value of Isaac is really important in this run, so we're going to buy him a lot of stuff. So, on Isaac, we're going to sell some things so we can afford all the stuff we need to buy. So sell the short sword, we do not need the short sword. Sell the bandit sword, we do not need the bandit sword. Pop over to Ivan, and sell all everything on Ivan except the herb. We can sell the herb, but it uh, doesn't change anything. We should have about, we need about 1300 gold, so we have 1317. Okay, now we need to buy some army here. Now, two things are really, really important here. The first thing is... Do not sell Isaac's equipment back to these guys, okay? We need his equipment. Second of all, do not accept any game tickets. Game tickets can cause Ace to fail, so please do not accept any game tickets. First item, bronze shield, Isaac, equip the bronze shield, okay? Equipping the bronze shield is important uh, only because it's going to confirm that we got the plus one defense level up. Uh, we also want to make Isaac as tanky as possible so that we can set up, um, okay, so that we can get through Kalima Forest, Treachery, etc. So, Bronze Shield equipped. Ah, I just sold the Padded Gloves, sorry. Do not sell the Padded Gloves. Do not collect the game ticket. The leather Gloves, buy them for Isaac. Do not equip the Leather Gloves. Do not get the game ticket. Buy the Open Helm. Do not equip the Open Helm. Do not get a game ticket. Finally, wooden cap. Do equip the wooden cap. Do not collect a game ticket. We can make this a bit clearer. I mean, I could add notepad here or something, but I think that's that's not too bad. You're buying this, equipping this. Buying this, not equipping it. Buying this, not equipping it. Buying this, equipping it. Super simple. Uh, if you did everything right, you should see that Isaac has 36 defense. You can see that uh, after you buy the wooden cap, it should go up to 36. If it's not going up to 36, then something has gone wrong. You may need to start again. Uh, if it says 37, uh, you can look at FX's guide and he will uh, tell you how to get around that. Next up, get this hard nut. So it's just in this 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 pot behind in this house. Just run up, grab it. Uh, we're going to need that hard nut. Uh, we're going to need to use it in Bilbin Barricade. So pop out a Bilbin and we're all done. That's right. No gin, no nothing. Save the game. Pick a save file, two, uh, one or two, doesn't really matter. We're going to use one just for convenience. Hard reset. Always hard reset. Okay. Now, as I mentioned, head off to Billabin Barricade. And as soon as we enter Billabin Barricade, use the hard nut on Isaac. He should get a plus three level up. He should go to 39 defense as he just did here. 39, very important. Uh, so please make sure that that happens. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all you need to do. You can take a step here, it won't affect anything. Um, and if you don't get 39 because you did something else weird or you got an encounter or something strange like that, uh, hard reset, try again. Should be fine. Okay. Next thing I want you to do is, um, again, not a particularly difficult thing, but it, it can help. Um, if you do this movement here, where you run upright into the, the bar barricade here, and then run directly left into the pillar, um, that will most likely make move more consistent. It, there will be some variance, but whatever. Uh, we don't really care about encounters at this point, we just want to flee from everything. Uh, I would strongly recommend you make use of saves and save states and stuff. Uh, you can save as much as you want over these two slots as much as you like. You can use save states as much as you like, just keep this save file. Keep the vault save file. These two doesn't matter. We just need to get through Kalima Forest, and that'll be fine. So if you do this movement here, that little upright left thing, that usually makes move consistent and the next encounter is predictable. I did not get it, by the way, so that's funny. <laughs> I go through all that rigmarole, I get the wrong encounter. Anyway, we got a zombie, it doesn't really matter. Again, what the exact encounters we get doesn't really matter too much. We just need to run away from everything. 
Uh, if people die, if Aizen dies or Garrett dies, it doesn't really matter too much. We just need Isaac to live. Um, but with Ivan, uh, with Garrett dead and Ivan alive, you have a slightly better chance to run. Um, so just be aware of that. Anyway, we're heading over here because we want to pick up the uh, turtle boots. Uh, so pick up the turtle boots and then head over into Kalima Forest. So recap, 39 defense, 39 defense, turtle boots into Kalima Forest. Doesn't matter how you get here. Just, you can hard reset your way all the way here with attacks first across everything. It really doesn't matter. Let's get through this mumbo jumbo. Again, we just need to get through Kalima Forest. You can hard reset through every encounter if you wish. Um, but that's your prerogative. We just need to get through. It really does not matter. This is a terrible rate, by the way. Just get through the dungeon. However you need to. It, it really doesn't matter. Again, if people die, it's totally fine. If Ivan dies, okay, it's sad, but whatever. If Garrett dies, okay, whatever. Just don't let Isaac die. Isaac must live. So I'm cheating my way through here. You can see how that every attacks first is kind of... All of these encounters are like multiple attack, attack cancels away. I don't actually know what the run probability is here. We can pull it up on the next encounter. Solve this puzzle as normal. But the next puzzle, we're gonna do something different. Let's pull this up. Uh, yeah, you have a one in four run chance, so 25%, that kind of sucks. <laughs> So yeah, hard reset save crawl is not a terrible idea, but again, it doesn't matter, just get here. Get here however you need to. Just don't kill things. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go get a fur coat. Uh, now you could just solve the puzzle on the low ground normally, or you can do a trick that Baal Nocturno found a long time ago to get the fur coat. Basically, when Isaac faces upright, there are two upright states. There is a left-facing upright and an up-facing upright. If you look at the code, you can kind of see the difference between them. But if you do this with the right positioning, like that, um, you can trigger this chest. So I think you want the up-facing upright position. So what you do is you n nudge yourself into this corner by holding up-left and um, getting here. And if you just one frame press that. Uh, so if you two frame press you'll get it like I did, or if you do one frame press you will talk to the chest basically. So it's really it's really an easy trick. So it's the up left, of the up left, get get yourself wedged in and then literal one frame. Just want to get, just want to be here and uh, it's really it's really quite finicky. Sometimes you need to reset it. Le Notice how Isaac's kind of like embedded. Like look how Isaac's shadow is like embedded with this cliff here. Um, when it's like this, you know you're in the right position, at least in the X Y position. And then you can wiggle around a little bit and just get it. So it's just a matter of kind of wiggling in this position. And anytime you feel like you're too far away, just reset it and get back into this position and just tap up and left until you you, you get the uh, the right frame, basically. Yeah, if you get good at one frame presses, it's it's um it's not too bad. It's it's yeah, it's it's not the worst trick in the world. It is kind of annoying. If you get really mad at it, just solve the puzzle. Just solve the puzzle on the low ground. Who cares? Um, but it's it's not that bad. Just wiggle around for a while, just and then just face left and press up and try and get it. You 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 will eventually get it. Just get really good at the one frame taps and you'll be fine. Anyway, with the fur coat, um, you might as well equip that. Might as well equip the turtle boots. Notice how we're at 55 defense, that's exactly where we want to be. Now we can just finish this, this puzzle off real quick and then enter trip. The good news is that uh, with all this defense, Isaac's basically immortal, which he takes like no damage from anything. And enter treachery. Fantastic, we made it. Um, this guide will keep going for a little bit longer. Hop down through trip into this first outdoor area. So let's go through the first room. 
and then down left to this area. This area here is super important. This area here is going to be where we do the retreat warps. This is also where this video is going to end, because after this we're going to do some out-of-bounds stuff in Tret. It's going to get real funky, real confusing, and I'm going to um, yeah, require you to do a lot of uh, off-screen movement. So look forward to that. It won't be too bad. There's lots of walls and stuff we'll run into. Um, but yeah, until the next video, we'll uh, see you around.